Okay. Oh. Whoa! Okay, we're going That's up. Incredible. Be careful. Okay. Oh, be careful. Be careful. Up, 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 up. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, hey, how about this mirror this. piece with the horns on it? I want oh. the. I, I would like those gone. You would look like it. those gone? Yes. How do you get back there to look at them? Oh, well, we gotta we gotta work our way back. Be careful. There might be holes in the floor. All right. Let me this see if I can. This is a wind song chair. That's incredible. Yes. Here, I'm gonna pull these out. Look at that, yeah. Joe. Horn furniture originated in Europe in the mid 1700s, and it was stuff that you'd see in like castles. When a lot of those craftsmen relocated to the United States, they started making this stuff here. What are you thinking, Joe? 250. Give me a little more room, two and a quarter. Okay, two and a quarter. All right. This is incredible stuff. I'm just so excited. Like, I'm, I'm a lighting guy. Okay. Open that box and see what's in it. Okay, and I've always been a lighting guy, but now the lighting guy is really coming out in me. All right, I'm opening the box. Mike's like an eight-year-old boy. And there's another lampshade in it. As soon as he sees something he loves, his life is only that thing. Oh, oh my gosh. That's it, he's obsessed with it, he wants to eat it, he wants to drink it. Is this the shade to that base down there? Look at that. Oh, it's like a blood red. Oh my gosh. There's a base back there. It's so cool. Have you ever tried to stop a curious eight-year-old boy from rifling through somebody's attic? So look, so this is what I'm talking about, that shade. Where's that shade at? Right here. Okay, so here, if you can hold that up and see if this is the the right width. Here, I'll, I'll hold this like so. I'll do this. Wait, are you doing like that? Wait, okay, wait, there's one leg, but we got it. Okay, wait. We're just connecting these things so gently together because there's a big piece of glass that's chipped and cracked and he doesn't want to fall out. That's it. It's got to be it. Is that, is that all the way up? This is like the lunar module docking with the command module. Yeah, that's it. This is it. Again, it's just like, whoa, wow. I love this stuff because to me, it's timeless. Of course. And it's overbuilt and it's just so beautiful. And it's sturdy. Yes, and it's sturdy. Well, we, yeah, it's sturdy it was, but no, I mean, this can all be fixed. I love yeah. it. This is a masculine lamp. You know what I'm saying? This is a craftsman, bold, masculine lamp. I mean, this is the kind of lamp you see Kevin Costner sit next to on a table in his lodge on Yellowstone, that kind of lamp. This red is insane. Look at that red. Look at that. The glass in this lampshade is so amazing. It's like this blood red, orangey slag glass. Look at that red. It's so cool and there's just so much going on here, man. I'd pay, um, hmm. In the shape it's in, I'd pay 300. Sold. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Sold. I love it, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it, thank you. When you look at this stuff, is this Dean? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's Dean. Yeah. It's my 40 years with him. Dean and I had a great life together. He taught me a lot. I learned so much from him. So I'm kind of meeting him. Yes, you are. meeting you. Yes, you are. Seeing Mike get so excited about the things that Dean collected was, was really good for me. And it was just bringing back all these memories of the fun times we had. This piece here, okay. it's a table. Okay. It's a very elaborate, like, there's cast iron to it. Yeah. And then where's that other light that I handed you? Right here. Yeah, that one. That's heavy. This is really incredible to pick an interior designer's attic. There's a lot of stuff from this time period in the back there. Right. This is a desk lamp. It's craftsman period. And, you know, after all of these years, the shade is still there. The magnifying lens underneath it is still intact. This is eyes and glass. You can see that Mica, right there. Micah. Yeah. I'm saying eyes and glass. He's saying mica. They're almost the same thing. You know, they would have used this actually in um, wooden burning stoves mm -hmm. for the illumination. And it's a heavy base. And if you can look at how it would be magnified as well, you can see there's a chip here. Um, Four hundred. Four twenty-five. I'll do four twenty-five. Let's do that. Okay. Lighting was definitely his partner's specialty. Okay, so this piece I dug out of there, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a wall sconce. Right. Nice arch, and okay. it pivots as well. There's floor lamps, there's desk lamps, there's table lamps, isinglass, mica, whatever you want to call it. 40 bucks. Okay. I mean, some of it needs some repair, but big deal, you know what I mean? This is another floor lamp piece. 
Looks like it has the original shade. Yes. You know, these floor lamps that I'm finding, 150. How about 160? 160. They're just so unique and so different. All right, here we go. Look at this one. He was into lighting. He he just he just loved it. Trying to protect that shade. And so he would go and find these wonderful things. Like if he would see it and he hadn't seen it before and he thought it was fabulous and if he could afford it, he would buy it. Whoa. Okay, this is some coolness here. Yes, Very yes. medieval Bavarian castle. What I love about all of this stuff is the simplicity of it. The simplicity of it and its strength. It's timeless. Two and a quarter. Yeah, 250 is better. How about 230? 235, if you're gonna be hard on me like that. <laughs> you're gonna give me a hard time on it. I mean, it's a fabulous thing. I know, it is a fabulous it's, thing. It's, so much of it isn't light that's to light a room. It's just mood lighting. Look at that base. Yeah, that's so cool, isn't it's it? It's a neat, neat base, really cool base. Kind of blacksmith craftsman, John Henry look to it. You know, the colors and the way it illuminates, it's just, you know, it just it sets a mood, man. It's, a, it's, it's great aesthetic. 200. Okay. I love this, and I love the fact that I'm finding so much of it. It is like a full-on lighting honey hole. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.